Registration for the fall semester is one week away. Before scouring the internet for professor ratings and reviews, you may want to think twice. Reporter Nikki Mandel can tell you why. Rate My Professor, it's the website where students across the country have posted more than 14 million teaching reviews. And Women's and Gender Studies professor Dr. Ariana Vahil is ignoring every last one of them. I don't look at it now because I think that the feedback is not constructive, it's not comprehensive, and it's not useful. A recent study shows that she might have a point. Researcher Benjamin Schmidt plucked every word from the reviews and categorized them by subject and gender of the professor. The interactive chart shows a shocking divide that could mean gender bias. Let's look at the chart. When I type in brilliant, we see that the word is used to describe male professors roughly twice as often as female professors. When I type in helpful, female professors get the clear majority. Women are expected to be, as an outgrowth of, you know, they're expected to be motherly, they're expected to be nurturing, and that leads to expected to be helpful. Despite the potential gender bias, frequent Rate My Professor user Stuart Ham says he'd recommend the site to any student. I've found some great professors and taken some great classes solely because of that website's advice. But the best way to choose classes? Close your laptop and talk to your professor face to face. In Chapel Hill, I'm Nikki Mandel reporting. Course registration for the fall semester begins for undergraduates on April 8th.